away. You guys gotta go downstairs. You gotta go. You gotta go. You can't be here. You the clothes. <laughs> Sir, put the camera. Tell me about this incident, what happened? Uh, I was just on the train coming home from work and then they told us that we needed to get off the train. They stopped it and said that there was an incident. Uh, from there, I, put, I figured that someone might probably jump in front of it because uh, I've heard of situations like this before. And then we got off and we saw the body. Uh, there was a lot of blood and yeah, it's been really uh, sad for him and his family at the moment. But um, yeah, it's also, you know, you also the logistics of it as well. You've got a whole bunch of people that were on the train and now it's four o'clock in the morning and everyone needs to get home and we're pretty far from home so we're also trying to work that out too. So yeah, a couple different things and realities that we're holding in tandem right now. But how many people had to uh, you know, get off the train or could not you know, ride the train? Probably about, i say 40, 50 people, probably more. Because there are people coming, getting off the train because of what happened and there are people trying to get on the train to go to work and everything like that. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, you know, it's- How often you notice? stuff like this happening? Uh, this is probably the first time in a while that I've, I've been like on the train where, the, where it's the person that's jumped in front of me. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's sad, you know, it's sad all around. You know. Definitely. What's your name? Uh, Daniel. Can you spell it? Uh, D-A-N-I-E-L. Thank you so much, appreciate it. No worries, take care.